guys, it's Nikki from Still Moments Nursery and I thought I would do a box um, packing for you. Um, I have a couple of dolls uh, that are going out this week so I thought I would show you how I pack up my babies. Um, this is Sophie and she was adopted. Um, she's going to a family here in Australia. Um, so I'll show you how I wrap her up and um, how I get her ready and what clothing she's going home with and, and everything like that in the box and yeah, we'll cover that all, so. Alright, well, I'll start by wrapping her up. Okay, so before I wrap them up, um, I always like to do their hair. So, just put a little bit of low hair conditioner. Not too much, because you don't want it to be really wet when you're packing them up. But, yeah, it's nice when, they're, when they arrive home and their hair's all nicely done. I love her hair. Her hair is so curly at the top. And it's really nice and soft, so it's really it's a really nice mohair this one. And this is the pale blonde curly that I used on her. Right. That's done. I think that looks good. Sorry guys, you can't see. But yep, yeah, that's her hair. It's really white, or like a real pale. Blonde. So that's her hair done. And then basically what I do is I just I don't cover their faces. So I just wrap around up their little hands. Not together, but sort of on the clothing nicely, just sort of sitting there. And I normally have one hand sticking out the top because I like that. wrap around her face <clears throat> pop that underneath like that so that's her all wrapped up a little frog blanket which I thought was really cute Sophie all wrapped up. I've still got to put a ribbon around her just to hold the um, blanket in in um, place. So I'll pop a ribbon on that and um, I'll take you through her clothing and, and what else she's going home with. Okay guys, so that's Zoe in the box. Um, I've put on her ribbon ties. Um, her hair's been done. And she looks, fits really nicely in this box, which is really good. So I'll just show you what clothing she has now. So she's got... Little pink bloomers, which are like silky, um, and a white top, which is long sleeve. And that was a size, that's a 5 0, so she's really tiny. And a matching bib to go with the pants. Those pinks kind of went together, but, but she looked really cute in it. And I'm also going to put in this um, little hair clip as well that I found. Um, I grabbed a whole pack of them and there's different colours but they're really soft um, metal so they're not going to rip out the hair so I'm going to chuck in one of those for her new mummy as well. And of course yellow because it goes with the blanket. And she's got the ribbon that went around her um, blanket and her dummy, which is magnetic. You might have noticed where I put the magnets. I don't actually put them in the middle. Um, it all depends on the doll kit. Um, what I do is I put a magnet on the inside and outside, and cut the teeth off the mag. Uh, to cut the teeth off the dummy, and actually line it up onto the face and see where it actually sits better. And on um, this particular kit, um, it actually sits on her little chin. So it's not actually going to ruin any of the paintwork on her lips. I might do a vlog about that, um, I don't know, one night. So that's that. And she also comes with um, the certificates that I do. Um, 
and care instructions. So I've got to put them and wrap them up and make everything look pretty. So I'll go and do that now and oh baby powder too. Um, a lot of people ask how they get their baby scents and that's how I get the baby scents on my dolls. Um, I don't like to use any oils or drops because you don't know if they're going to ruin the vinyl. Um, so basically what I do is I just put that into um, either their blankets or their um, clothing. So that's how I get my babies to smell like babies. So I highly recommend grabbing some baby powder, not the oils. Um, but again, it's totally up to you guys what you want to use on your reborns. But yeah. Okay guys, so all of her stuff is now in her box. Um, I've got her clothing um, and I popped the ribbon that came with her blanket around the clothing so that looks really cool. Um, her dummy and her little hair clip is in that one. And her um, certificate and care instructions are in the back there so they keep nice and flat. And what else have I got? Oh, my hair conditioner spray in there. And what I do with her face as well um, is I will cover it with blanket. Um, so if you just lightly cover that and then tuck that in there. You don't want to push down too hard because um, you don't want to flatten the eyelashes. But yeah, that just protects her little face. And then with the diapers, I just place them over the face. So that gives it nice, just gives it a little bit of protection. But I'll just protect her face as well. And that's Sophie all ready to be wrapped up and posted off to her mummy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think if you want me to do more um, box packings as I'm calling them. Um, yeah, so thanks for rating, commenting and subscribing and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.